All right, this is my female Madagascar cat-eyed snake. I got her from Glen Brooksy uh, from Glen Reptiles. This will be her second feeding since I've had her. I've used that assist feed kind of technique that Glen uh, talked about um, on a video with Godbold Exotics. And then Godbold Exotics also did a video showing him feeding his Madagascar cat-eyed snake that he got from Glen as well. So I use that technique the first time feeding both my female and my male. And I'm going to use that technique again, the pinky mouse. Okay, so I thawed the frozen pinky out in some warm water. I did 110 degrees and then left it in there for a good half an hour. And then heated the water back up again to another 110 degrees. And so with her, what I had to do last time, I tried teasing her. It didn't really work. And what I had to do is kind of trap her head, which she doesn't like too much. Oh. There we go. And then I have to hold the pinky by the head so I can tease her mouth open with the pinky. The changer. So kind of teasing here. Come on, sweetie. Open up. There we go. So a little bit on the side here. There we go. Good. Oh, and she wants to eat it. So now the male, he needed a little more coaxing. I had to get it further in his mouth. But she's doing just fine. I fed her a week ago today, and I did notice that she had kind of defecated in her cage, so everything's moving along as it should. So funny thing with her, I do use that uh, forest floor mix for her bedding or her substrate in her cage. And then I had multiple hides that I had made, and she decided that she would rather be in one of the small little crevices between the hide and the edge of the cage. She likes that area much better. And just like that. And there it is, moving down her body. And I did decide to name her Natasha. I'm a nurse and one of the doctors at my work saw a picture of her and says she looks like a Natasha. That would be a perfect fitting name for a snake. So I thought it was a great name. 